doing? <clears throat> so he sees the sea, excellent. But when he sees through the he when he sees the sea through the window, he does not look at the window. So how in kill frame kya hota hai? the window. But when he will look at the window, the frame will change. Now the frame is slightly different. For me, right now, the frame is this. But when I take it off, now the frame has changed. Now I see beyond this, right? So exactly in that manner, we frame our world. And what, how do we frame our world? We frame our world based on our interests. We frame our world based on our experiences. We frame our world based on our value system. Right? We frame our world based on our routines. My routine is this. Okay? You have seen all the cars. What happens to the cars in the eyes? Look. They are blinds. He is given a certain frame to work with. That's frame. So we also frame. What is our interest? That will frame. There are two people sitting together. I will treat both of them differently. Why? Because of the frame. Interests, experience, value system and routines. These four things are which create our frames and manipulate. Karti hai. Now there is a possible danger with frames. Two narrow frames lead to wrong perceptions. If your frame is narrow, hogi, it will give you wrong perceptions. Things will start to fade off. We risk making inappropriate decisions. And then frames have blind spots. Just like big cars have blind spots. Hote. When you have to turn them or when you have to reverse, there needs to be someone who needs to guide them, otherwise you'll hit someone. Similarly, frames can be blind spots. Hote. Okay? All right. Uh, let's look at something. Let's look at something that will be interesting for all of us. Let's look at this video and then we'll talk about it. Okay, there's no sound. Hold on. Sound can you? So volume. Can you? Nice. Nice. What are you doing? Yeah, they should be ready. Man. ऑन करते ना वॉल्यूम ही तो ऑन करनी है We have some technology glitch, but that's fine. We can come back to it later. Okay? <clears throat> it's a video that we'd like to see, but that's fine. We can do it a little later, no problem. Okay. So frames came bad karate. Now what frames leads us to do is it makes us ethically blind. Why blind? Because we don't see the stuff that's not in the frame. Whatever's in the frame, we see that and we miss out on a lot of things which is not in the frame. So what is ethical blindness? Let's look at the concept of ethical blindness. Ab tak jo humne baat ki hai, the main discussion is bad apples versus bad barrels. Kya matlab hua? 
जी जो लोग इंटेंशनली बुरा करते हैं जिनका इंटेंशन बुरा है उनके बारे में हम बात नहीं कर रहे इस वक्त समन वॉन्ट्स टू डू बैड दे वॉन्ट टू डू बैड दे वॉन्ट टू हार्म अदर्स वी नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट वॉट वी टॉकिंग अबाउट इज कि हाउ डू गुड पीपल हु आर राइट दे आर नॉट बैड एपल्स दे आर गुड एपल्स बट वेन दे गेट इन टू बैड बैरल्स दे मेक अन एथिकल डिसीशंस राइट so they are within a certain framework within a certain context they make bad decision wo situation mein aa jate hain aur phir galat decision lete hain normally they are good people they have good value system they want to do good but they still end up making a bad decision aur reason uska kya hai the context that they are in all right so what is ethical blindness let's try and define this concept the concept is there are three key aspects of ethical blindness the first is actors they deviate from their own values and principles mera value system kehta hai yaar should not break the signal but i still did it so i deviated from something that i personally believed in i thought i would tell my kid don't rush there's no rush i would tell my brother don't rush stop at maybe someone else is driving and if they would break the signal i'd be like huh what did you do but when it comes to me i deviated from my own values and principles secondly it is context bound signal todne se pehle main kehta tha don't do it signal todne ke baad bhi kehta hu don't do it but during that situation i did it which means it was a temporary state and it was context bound us certain situation mein thi us situation mein maine decision liya so that's the second key aspect of ethical blindness the third aspect is we are not conscious when we are taking this decision aur baad mein hamare apne decisions hame shock kar dete hain ki really maine ye kaha tha really maine aise socha tha so we are unconscious to the situation so three key aspects one is we deviate from things that we believe in secondly what's the second one temporary situation after the decision we still say nahi hum acche log hain hum sahi decision lete hain mera value system to ye kehta hai but we had already done something which was unethical and the th- third aspect is it's unconscious now ethical blindness happens in three layers of context teen layers hain context ki jiske andar ethical blindness hoti hai the first layer is the immediate situation this situation mujhe dala gaya theek hai aapko kisi ne on the spot dal diya That is the immediate situation. उसका pressure आप लेते हैं That is first level of context. The second level of context is the organizational context. The organizational context. जिस organization में आप काम कर रहे हैं उस environment का context. Then the third is the society's context. हमारी society का pressure क्या कहता है ठीक है ना हम यही कहते हैं ना यार सब तो तोड़ रहे हैं सब उल्टा आ रहे हैं सब इस रस्ते को लेते हैं ये ब्रिज पर तो उल्टा ही चलता है ट्रैफिक हम कहते हैं या नहीं कहते हैं ये बर्ड्स हमारे ही है ना हम सब के ही हैं आई कैन एटलीस्ट से अबाउट माई सेल्फ मैं तो ऐसा कहता हूँ गलती करता हूँ ये राइट सो वी वेन वी से दैट दैट्स आर सोसाइटी इज प्रेशर यार क्या चल रहा भाई मेरा ही दोस्त मुझसे कहेगा वट आर यू डूइंग वट आर यू वेटिंग फॉर सिग्नल पे रात को तीन बजे तुम खड़े रहोगे और वही लोग बाहर मुल्क में शायद खड़े रहेंगे रात को सिग्नल राइट सो दीज आर द थ्री लेवल्स ऑफ कॉन्टेक्स दैट वी हैव वील जस्ट लुक एट द वीडियो आई थिंक वी आर रेडी टू रन इट राइट and then after that video we have a break namaz ke liye right so let's look at the video talk about that and we have, then we have a namaz break okay let's run this clearly somebody in this awaaz nahi aa rahi who at precisely 3:34 this afternoon was brutally bludgeoned to death with a blunt instrument i want each of you to tell me your okay, okay. Clearly, somebody in this room murdered Lord Smythe, who, at precisely 3:34 this afternoon, was brutally bludgeoned to death with a blunt instrument. I want each of you to tell me your whereabouts at precisely the time that this dastardly deed took place. I was polishing the brass in the master bedroom. I was buttering his lordship's scones below stairs, sir. Why, I was planting my petunias in the potting shed. Constable, arrest Lady Smythe. But but how 
How did you know? Madam, as any horticulturist will tell you, one does not plant petunias until May is out. Take her away. Sorry, madam. It's just a matter of observation. The real question is how observant were you? Uh, action. Clearly, somebody in this room murdered Lord Smythe, who, at precisely 3.34 this afternoon, was brutally bludgeoned to death with a blunt instrument. I want each of you to tell me your whereabouts at precisely the time that this dastardly deed took place. I was polishing the brass in the master bedroom. I was buttering his lordship's scones below stairs, sir. But I was planting my petunias in the potting shed. Constable, arrest Lady Smythe. Interesting. Anything interesting you found there? What happened in the situation? Yawa, anyone? Anyone wants to say? No? Too, too shocked? Can we have the mic? Alright, what happened? Actually, we have not, uh, we did not, we, we did not notice the changes that were going around in, uh, at the background. Okay. We were uh, very concerned with the story that was actually running. Okay, alright. Yeah. Anyone else wants to comment? What happened there? Yeah. The change of frames. Because uh, we are looking at one frame in the... Exactly, the, exactly. The Very good. So frame. that was the case that we were looking at just the frame that was being showed to us. So, our mind had frame in the frame and did not look at the bigger picture. But when the frame changed, exactly that is what happened. So there was a smaller frame and then there was a larger frame. All right. We'll talk more about ethical blindness after the break. We have 10 minutes for namaz and then we'll gather back and we'll restart the session. Thank you. So are we all back? Everyone? Achcha ji, abhi tak hum logo ne ethical blindness ke concept ko zara touch kiya hai, thoda sa touch kiya hai. Normally jo maari conventional ya traditional approaches hoti hai towards ethics is what? We normally have three implicit assumptions. We believe that we have the one who is doing the bad thing is really a bad person. जब भी कोई बहुत बुरा काम हमने एंड नॉन के स्कैंडल सुने हमने बहुत सारे डिफरेंट डिफरेंट स्कैंडल सुने पहली थॉट क्या आती है यू मस्ट रियली बी अ बैड पर्सन टू डू दिस इतना बुरा आदमी होगा तो ही उसने किया होगा इसके अलावा ऐसा पॉसिबल नहीं है कोई आदमी कैसे कर सकता है ऐसे हमारे जिम्मे सवाल आते हैं तो हमारी एजम्पन्स क्या होती हैं वट आर आर इम्प्लिसिड एजम्पन्स द फर्स्ट एजम्पन इज ही इज डूइंग इट विद इज नॉलेज यस ओके यू मस्ट नो यू मस्ट हैव नोन इट द फर्स्ट द सेकेंड एजम्पन इज that he is doing it intentionally. Yeah, my assumption is because otherwise we can't say that he must be a bad person because his intention must have been bad. And the third assumption is he has done something very reason. He has reasoned out. Usne reason out. Usne weigh kiya saare options ko. Usne weigh karne ke baad, phir usne ek decision liya hai ki ye cheez mujhe karni chahiye ya nahi karni chahiye. His he reasoned out an unethical or immoral act. Yeh hamari three assumptions hoti hain and based on which we assess somebody's actions hum ye kaam karte hain but yahan pe when we are assuming when when fayaz told you that ethical blindness is one concept that does not happen consciously it happen unconsciously so a person who is in the situation does not know about it he suddenly gets blind he does not see the ethical dimension of a situation he suddenly gets blind and why do that happen it's largely about the framing and the context now we'll study about how these three layers of context about immediate context, how the, the power of frames, how the power of context, power of immediate situations, power of organizational situations, context, and power of um, your societal context blinds you in that very situation before and after you begin to see it. But in that situation, you can't see that. How does that happen? We have a very interesting and very amazing case study about a story of Fort Pinto. How many of you have heard about Ford? Ford ke baare mein jaantei hain aap log? Jaantei hain Ford ke baare mein Ford kya hai? Ford is what? Anybody? 
we don't need mics